Welcome to another episode of Simple Science Experiments. Today we are going to speak about a small yet important thing, an atom. Everything around us is made up of matter. This table, you, me, the air around us, your computer, water, everything. Literally, everything that takes up space and has mass is matter. Now, what is matter made up of? Matter is made up of atoms. Atoms are the tiniest unit of matter. What does the word atom mean? Atom is derived from the Greek word atomos, which means indivisible, which means it cannot be divided further or cannot be cut further. So everything is made up of atoms. What are molecules then? Confused? Now take for example any sentence, like this one. Circle all the words in it. Now circle the letters in V for example. You see, this sentence is made up of words. And words are made up of letters. So the letters are the smallest unit of a sentence. Similarly, everything is made up of molecules. But molecules are made up of atoms. So atoms are the smallest unit of everything. Now for example, water. Water is made up of water molecules. But water molecules is made up of atoms. There are two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So atoms join to form molecules and molecules join to form things. There are four natural states of matter. Solids, liquids, gases and plasma. The fifth state is the man-made Bose-Einstein condensate. Coming to the states of matter. Solid matter. Solid matter is composed of tightly packed particles. A solid will retain its shape. The particles are not free to move around. Example, wood. Liquid matter. Liquid matter is made of more loosely packed particles. It will take the same shape of its container. Example, water. Gaseous matter. Gaseous matter is composed of particles packed so loosely that it has neither a defined shape nor a defined volume. Example, air. What is the structure of an atom? Atom is made up of three smaller particles, negatively charged electrons, positively charged protons and neutral neutrons. The protons and neutrons make up the center and together are called as the nucleus of, this, of the atom. Since the neutron has no charge, the nucleus is positively charged due to the protons. Now, the electrons are outside the nucleus, orbiting around the nucleus. The electrons are negatively charged. The total negative charge of the electron is equal to the positive charge of the nucleus. So, in total, the atom is neutral. Now, how small is an atom? Atoms are ridiculously and unbelievably small. Let me explain it with a different perspective. Imagine that this orange fruit 
has only hydrogen atoms. Now we blow each of the atoms to the size of this blueberry. Then what should be the size of this orange fruit? It should be the same size as the earth. That means if this blueberry is a hydrogen atom, then this orange would be the size of the earth. So now, how small is the nucleus? Let us visualize this too. Let us blow up our atom or the blueberry to the size of a two-story building. If we go inside it and search for the nucleus, it could be barely visible. So, so to see the nucleus, we need our blueberry to the size of a football stadium. And then if we go inside and search for it, we can spot a small marble that is the nucleus. So if an atom is the size of a football stadium, then the nucleus is the size of a marble. Can we see the atom under a microscope? Atoms are so small. Even the most powerful light focusing microscopes can't visualize single atoms. We can only see them under a special microscope. An electron microscope can be used to magnify things enough to see lots of details inside cells. There are several types of electron microscope. A special type of electron microscope called transmission electron microscope can be used to see nanoparticles and atoms. So, to summarize, what is an atom? Atom is the smallest component of an element having the chemical properties of the element consisting of a nuclear containing combinations of neutrons and protons and one or more electrons bound to the nuclear by electrical attraction. The number of protons determines the identity of the element. Hope you like our video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye. Bye.